Hello and welcome back to Boo Polo channel. My name is Pascal. Today I am going to do a review of uh, an Ubiquiti Unify Cloud Key. This is Cloud Key is Cloud Key 2 Plus. Uh, this runs my whole network uh, in my house here and, and our business across the road. And uh, in our business we have a hotspot manager, so this runs everything. You can run uh, the software uh, for the Unify, you can run it all on the cloud uh, with Unify, but uh, should, it, should it go down then you are in trouble. Now, having said that, if I remove this from the network, the network still works. But uh, putting in a new key, or sorry, putting in a new code for your hotspot, it, it requires this. And this one is where it's all stored on. So I have this for over two years. And for years I was, uh, uh, I have uh, access points and, you know, router here and Netgear, other stuff. And I, it was always all over the place. Now, I s when you go, when, if you change over to Ubiquinti Unify, everything ties together. But you do need to, uh, they are not compatible with everything else. But it, when, it, when, it, when you get it all set up, it's, it's so simple. You, can, you have everything. I will show you in a moment uh, the scre on, with scre screen camera of, uh, of running the hotspot and running the, the software. Uh, I have it running here. This is a security gateway underneath it, and, and this is one of my switches. I have another. This is connected to another switch over there. I'll review them later on. But this is uh, the, 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 this is the, this has got a hard drive inside in it. It's one terabyte, and uh, it, uh, it runs off, it runs off the power, there it is plugged in there. Uh, it runs off uh, power over Ethernet. So it can also run from a, p a power supply, but it's run over power over Ethernet. So there's only one, the back of this is connected to this switch, and that's it. There's also a version of this that doesn't have the hard drive in it. it, it it's not, it, it doesn't, it's called a G2 but, uh, non plus. So this is generation two uh, plus, right? It's been around for a few years, and uh, it saves me a lot of heartache that I used to have before. and. Uh, so when someone uh, stays in our business across the road, I just give them a key and I can decide how much internet to get them. So uh, like uh, we, we, have, we, we have fiber internet now, so it's limitless and it's very fast. So it, uh, but for people with small internet, this is great because it, it's a managed network, right? So, uh, so the, the security gateway and then this switch and this switch, and I have another bigger switch as well. And they, are, uh, they all plug in. So I will show you here online now uh, what the software is like. Uh, I will have to black, block out some parts for, uh, for security purposes. So when you start off uh, and you log in, this is what you've got. You have got your, uh, you've got your Unify network. This is for your cameras and this is for your cloud key. Now your G2 plus settings. Uh, I don't use this, uh, well I used it in the beginning, I'll click on it there for you and you have to sign in here. You have to sign in with the root. Uh, so I'm using the same password as I'm using for the network. There's not very much to do here, well not much for me to do anyway. I think I went in in the beginning, you can change, uh, you can see the CPU load, the performance on it and you can see, you can click on the controllers there. Uh, yeah, you can set up uh, pro protect uh, protection for your uh, your your camera network, uh, and then on the network uh, the data transferred, and then there's the settings which I have. You just time zone, and you can do uh, your firmware. That's for this is just for the cloud itself. So uh, what we'll do is we'll go back over to uh, the network here. As I said, the uh, Unify Protect is. Uh, is for the cameras. So we click on a uh, launch uh, network and, and this is what we've got. This is our dashboard, okay? So uh, it's telling me here on the right that controller software uh, is now available. Uh, I will do that later. Uh, on the left, you've got the dashboard like we're on and then there's statistics. 
I won't click on that now because, uh, no, there, there's confidential information on it, but I'll click on it anyway. There's no names on it. Uh, and then uh, there's, the, there's devices here. There's the map. Now, you know the map, Dora and the map. Uh, the map is very handy for uh, looking at the way your network is and where everything is if you forget later on. So the map is, is, is telling you what's connected to what. So like for instance, we come in the security gateway and then it goes to the switch here beside the security gateway. And then there's a cable going across the, across the way to the hotel to another switch from the switch for switch. And uh, because over in the hotel at the moment, everybody's checked out, they'll all be checking in soon. That's one of my phones that we're using over there. And that's all, and uh, the desktop and the CCTV over there is connected to the system as well. Uh, and then uh, over here in the house, we have, uh, we have, we have, we have uh, you see over there we have two, uh, we have two access points. We have two access points here. I've got connected my desktop up here and the office cloud, of course, is connected. And then the balcony and this one, this is in the wrong place. I moved them, but I can change the name of it if I want to. So everything else is connected there. There's not a lot going on there. Uh, devices, devices is very handy. This is where you can, uh, you, where you can change the settings of all the devices. This is where you set up new ones and you see how they're performing. And I click settings here for you and then we, we will, we, this is where you do your Wi-Fi, your wireless network, you set up your wireless network just like normal. But this is where we have guest control and uh, we, we, uh, this is where we have hotspot manager. So we, we'll just click this and I will show you how it works and how to make uh, vouchers and things like that. So when I click on guest control, uh, the policies are up there on the top. You can set them yourself. But the main part is down here, uh, portal cu customization. And uh, the, this is, we, there's a link from here to uh, over to the hotspot manager, which you can give, uh, you can give somebody else access to that uh, without access to anything else. You can give them access. I will show you that in a second. Uh, so when the guest logs in, you put your photo of that you want them to see on their browser. When, they, when the guest uh, clicks on your Wi-Fi uh, to connect uh, their browser, this opens in their browsers where they put in the voucher in here. So they will have a 10-digit a voucher, and, which I'm going to show you in a second. And uh, then when they click that, they, they have the, the, the internet connects up for them. So I'll just click Hotspot Manager here to show you. you can, change different settings here. You can change pictures. There's other more complex things to do if you want to. They're on some of the forums there of uh, Omegwetti. So we'll click Hotspot Manager. Now, when you're up in Hotspot Manager, not much here, so 60 30 returning and uh, I don't even use, and then there's an anal analytics and I don't use that either. But it's there if, if you need it. So you, you have your operators here. This way you can make some operators and you can uh, say staff, uh, you can let staff make vouchers but not let them see statistics and not let them cancel vouchers. You can give them, you can give them access to different things. The vouchers, uh, the payments and transactions, I don't use that. And the guest, if I click this, anyone that's logged in there will be details of their MAC address. So I'm not going to click that. So uh, the, there's, there's uh, the vouchers, we click on the vouchers then, and this is what you get when you click on the vouchers. You've got create vouchers, print all unused vouchers, and print batch. Now, I don't use print unused vouchers because they may not be the same and they might be not different times. But I do, uh, every now and again, I clear the system. So when, not when somebody's logged in, I will click uh, all, select all, and then revoke selected, okay? Normally, uh, we will make new, I'll do that every now and again to make sure there's no rogue ones going around uh, that they're giving away to people that are not actually staying here. So all vouchers will be cancelled when you do that. So, but to, to make a voucher, it's so simple. Uh, make sure that your pop-up uh, blocker is uh, turned off because the, when you're printing them, uh, when you're printing them, uh, it's a pop-up. But I'm going to show you how to create them first, and I'm going to show you how we create a standard uh, uh, batch of 40. The reason we do 40 is 40 fits on an A4 page. So I click 
40 and then yeah I use one time usually you can use multi-use or multi-use unlimited and we don't do that you could give that to your best friend or something like that but you could revoke it then as well if you wanted to uh, uh, so I use one time normally we use 24 hours uh, you can use eight hours you can use seven two days you can make your own if you want to but for the purpose of a hotel normally it would be 24 hours if it's a long-term guest we might just say the inconvenience we give them a seven day or a 14 day one so we limit our, our, our the internet that we're giving them to uh, one um, megabit because that's all they need uh, for using browser and using Netflix and that you only need one megabit and so I limit it to 1000 uh, I have a 30 uh, I have a 30 megabit connection so uh, and I will do this same with this one I will make it one megabit for upload now the, you, the, if your guest is uh, continue serial download or they will have to come back for a voucher every now and again if you set this one which is probably not a bad idea I normally do four uh, I normally do four uh, gigabytes of that's four or four thousand megabytes uh, of uh, data uh, and if they want another one and then it reminds them that they have done and then we press save and then uh, we go back to if you want to print what you've just done Remember, no pop-up, turn off your pop-up. Uh, there's the one you just made, because it's uh, 10.05 here, and this is the date. And then I just click on this, and then the pop-up. And we just print it. You see it fits in the A4 page, just fine. And uh, I will print this, because I'm after, uh, I'm after yeah, I hope it doesn't disturb you so much. But the hotspot managers, it's very simple. There are more complex things you can do that you can have your picture on the vouchers and things like that. I didn't get into it, but there, are help, there is help available if you want to do that. But uh, setting up your own, uh, the, the, what the browser is, uh, it's just simple as putting up a JPEG photo. We have all our other stuff that you have with every other system that you have. Uh, threat management, there's a new one of this, uh, the route, firewall and all this. Uh, yeah, it's a very simple system to use. So that's it. So there you go. Thank you very much for uh, watching uh, this uh, video on the Generation 2 Plus by Unify. If you like this video or any of our other videos, uh, please subscribe.